First of all, it's incredible. So many firsts. It's the first time we've seen black holes that large, actually. Huge, 30 times the mass of the sun. I mean, we, we know that they're in the center of galaxies, but this is a direct observation of them. Secondly, it's the first time we've seen them collide together. Thirdly, it's the detection of gravitational waves, which is a prediction of Einstein's theory 100 years ago. But fourthly, it opens up a new window on the universe. Because if you think about the history of astronomy, going back as far as human history, really, but with the telescope, Galileo and all this, all we've done is look at light. And light is, you can make very detailed measurements of the cosmos, but things that happen, uh, many of them are obscured. There's a lot of dust in the universe. Uh, you can't see back beyond 380,000 years after the Big Bang, because before that time, the universe was opaque. So you can't see back with light beyond 380,000 years after the Big Bang to the earliest times. But with gravitational waves, they go through everything. They, they don't care about dust. They don't care about the fact the universe was opaque until quite some time after the Big Bang, they just travel. So in principle, well, you can view the Big Bang. You need a more sensitive set of detectors, but now we know it works. You can imagine at some point in the future, essentially using gravitational waves to probe the origin of the universe itself. So it's a, it's a remarkable discovery.